Hi guys, this is Mr. Mark, and today we're going to talk about putting a stop to online meanness. What should you do if someone is mean to you online? So first let's look at some key vocabulary. Online, that means using a computer, a phone, or tablet to visit a website or an app. Cyberbullying, using digital devices, sites, and apps to intimidate, harm, and upset someone. Intimidate means to personally scare that person, which is not very nice. In online meanness, we will look at how it can happen, what to do when it happens to them or to someone they know. So what does mean behavior look like? Well, making fun of how someone looks, spreading lies about someone, saying rude things to them. And how does that make people feel when you behave like that? Well, somebody could feel hurt. They might get angry and want to be mean back to you. They might be upset or they could be scared. What should you do if you ever experience someone being mean to you or if you see someone being mean to another person? Well, you should tell your mom or your dad or tell a teacher these are trusted adults so make sure you tell a trusted adult why do you think someone would want to be mean to someone else online maybe they were trying to joke around or they feel badly about something about themselves and they're taking it out on someone that means they feel bad about themselves, so they want to make somebody else feel bad too, which is not very nice. People might say things online that they would never say face to face. They don't have to actually see the person face to face and see the other person's emotions. Let's take this teddy bear. Pretend your little teddy bear who you actually love is someone you know and you say I can't believe you like superhero shows that's something my little brother would watch to make him seem like they're a baby or something but then let's look at it online when two people are chatting first person types hey have you seen that new show fly sweepers it's so cool and the other person says, I can't believe you like superhero shows. That's something my little brother would watch. Okay, so let's consider the two options, face-to-face -face or online. Well, if it's face-to-face, -face, it's still mean. And online, it's still mean. It's harder to say face-to-face -face because you can hear the tone of the voice and you can see how the other person reacts. But online, it's easy to type. You can't hear the tone of the voice and you don't have to see how the other person reacts. So for some people, they might think it's a little bit easier. However, keep this in mind. If you wouldn't say something to another person's face, it's definitely not okay to say it online. Don't forget that. Okay, I'm gonna teach you how to remember what to do when you see online meanness. So first, think of the word stop. The S is for step away. Why do you think you should stop using your device and step away? So you come to your device and you find out that something's wrong. Why do you think you should stop using your device and step away? Maybe count one two three four maybe that'll make you more calm when you try to figure out what to do let's look at the next one tell a trusted adult now who did i say was a trusted adult your mom and dad or your teacher if someone makes you feel angry sad or scared online which grown-ups can you tell and ask for help? I just told you, mom and dad or a teacher. 
okay sites first. And this is really important. You should only go to sites that are good for your age and that are supervised by a parent. Some sites are not made for kids and allow kids to communicate with others. This opens up opportunities for online meanness to occur. And the P stands for pause and think online. Would it be helpful to talk to the person who was being mean? Or maybe it would be more helpful to let your trusted adult, your mom and dad or your teacher, talk to the person who's being mean. So I want you to pull out your handout that's attached to your Google Classroom and I want you to do the scenario. Let me read it to you first. Jada's parents let her play on a website where she can take care of a pet pony and decorate its stall. That's where the pony lives. Her friend Michael has played with her in the past and knows her username and password. One day Jada goes to the site to care for her pony. She finds that her pony's stall is a mess and there are some things missing. So now Look at the handout you got in your Google Classroom and answer the questions on it. So let's look at the handout. Question number one. What do you think happened? Well, remember, to start your sentence to tell me what happened, you start to make a complete sentence. I think, and then go from there. And then ask, how do you think Jada feels? Well, she found her stall and it was messy and thanks for missing. The only one who has her password is Michael, her friend. How do you think she feels? What advice would you give to Jada? And this is number three. What advice would you give to Jada to respond to this, rem this situation? Remember, stop. So stop online meanness, pause and think a moment, draw a picture about what you should do if you experience someone being mean to you online, and then explain what you should do if you experience someone being mean to you online. We go online to watch videos, send messages to people we know play games, and do homework. Lately, a lot of homework online. Sometimes people say mean or scary things. If you ever experience someone being mean online, remember to stop. Remember what that was? The stop? Step away. Tell a trusted adult. Okay sites first. And pause and think online. Now go to the pause and think moment on page two of the Stop Online Meanness student handout. Read the directions aloud. You're going to draw a picture about what you should do if you experience someone being mean to you online and write a sentence explaining what you should do if you experience someone being mean to you online. Now you can either do this in Google Drawings or you can take a pencil or some crowns or some markers and draw your picture on that page if you print it out and then just take a picture of it and turn it into this assignment okay guys that's all for now thanks for listening and remember be kind <laughs>